Sup guys, it's Tenkosh and today we are doing the beginner's guide and tips for anglerfish. Anglerfish is really unique experience so I'll try to avoid as many spoilers as possible but there are some things that you should know about the game in order to um, not experience that much stress. So let's go into it and uh, if you have your own tips guys don't forget to let them um, to let us know about them in the comments down below, so write about them over there. Let's go. When you start the game, every, you will die a lot. It's okay, it's normal, and it's actually a good experience because as you die, you will unlock more things in the game and you will learn more things. Once you enter the bar, you will never be able to exit, at least at the start. Your goal is to get out of here alive, and you can imagine it's hard. Uh, your starting goal is to get as many numbers as possible, so like, uh, it will be problematic for you, but it's possible. First of all, you get the number from this girl, uh, I already did that. Then you can get the number from the girl at the top left in the bar over there. For that, you gotta go here, stand here, let that lady throw the dart on the left, bam. It will cause some serious issues over there for our friend, then when you get the wine glass, you can actually bring it to this lady and get her phone number, although we passed that moment as well. Uh, I don't know if you can get the phone from the dancing girl, maybe different song, let's see. Yeah, I guess you can only make her dance, but it's okay. Uh, another phone number you can get in the toilet, that's like the beginners, things that you want to do, and after that you will go into the game. So this one over here, that lady still slaps me all the time, I haven't found a way to deal with that, sometimes the decision is different and after that you go in this room well i mean at first you will die but then each time you will go in this room and you will get the weapon honestly uh from all the drinks that i've unlocked so far none of those is actually useful they all make it harder for you but maybe maybe at some point uh one of those will help you in the game maybe you need to get some sequence of things in order to unlock new things so uh, if you take the enemy out while they are not attacking you, they can be one shot. Moreover, it's really important to learn how to properly, how to properly fight them. So, for example, for this guy, you would like to kite him around. You don't want to fight him like that. You shoot, you go back a little bit and shoot again. Otherwise, you will be killed pretty fast. Moreover, as you progress the game, you will unlock the, um, how do things called the... Uh, the shortcut. And that's what we need. Like, at first you go to the right and do things over there and then you will kind of unlock the shortcut. We can go there because we will die. And this is the area, the starting area here, are about the ways how you can die. So as you can see, you can have several, multiple ways of dying and each time you die, you will get a new pedestal here with your dead body being splattered, being killed like that, so I think you want to unlock all the ways how you can die in order to get more stuff. Um, some things are interact interactable, some are not, but you gotta be careful because even if you've been to some areas, you can still get killed because sometimes you will get random things happening and those can kill you. Now, there are some puzzles and sometimes you gotta think a little bit how to, dis how to solve them. This one right now is pretty simple, bam. If you fail it, you will die, of course. But, um, yeah, even dying in the game is pretty fun. What I would advise you guys is not to worry that much about dying. Because even if you die, you can still get some fun. Uh, you can still get some new things happening to you after you die. Important thing, though. When you leave and go back to the area, everything will reset. And that means that the enemies that are there will reset as well. And if you haven't noticed yet, it's right in the beginning of the game tutorial. When your ears are pointy, that's the interactable area. You can interact with something over there. And sometimes your ears can be pointy in the areas you don't expect. Um, yeah. Now, I guess you guys, if you get to this area, there is a gateway here. And you need to get the code in order to go through. The code is H... Oh, misclick. H U N D and when you get that code it's from the website it's easy you will get to that area which is totally different experience we won't go there right now because uh, after that you will kind of go through fun journey and you will get back here now there are some puzzles here that I haven't sold myself yet because I'm not done with the game yet but you gotta be careful this area it took me a while to figure out 
that you actually have to shoot the duck when it gets dark, and when you shoot in the duck, it, it will get lighter. So, yeah, some puzzles solve, solves here, like, uh, ways how not to die that fast. This area, I can't really figure... Oh, we found a gnome here, that's nice. So we found extra gnome, that's nice. If you find four, there is a, um, how it's called, uh, the chest in the beginning area that might contain some, something important for you. I don't know what's there. I need one more gnome for that. So over here. Oh my god, uh, that, that's new. Hello. Um, if what will shoot it? It will just, okay. That's new. That wasn't here before. And now it's, I'm scared. Okay, the enemies are killed. And uh, over there, you will fight the boss. So you will go there. And uh, I actually died a few times. So after that, you can sneakily get the key to open this door. And in this door, you gotta do this. And I don't remember how exactly. But you go downstairs into the underground area, which is dark. Here, I can't really see it here. You can, in the option menu... You can increase the brightness of your game. Um, I did that a few times. I don't see anything. I'm scared. Let me do this. Wait. I recommend you guys to play this game where when it's a little bit darker for you. So you can see what's happening. Or increase brightness. I did that, but I don't think it's enough for... Oh, there, there we go. Uh, it's not enough for our situation here. Oh my god, it's so... <sighs> yeah. Sometimes the best advice... Is not to hurry up too much and hear. Play it with the headphones. Listen to what's happening. And when the enemies are attacking you, you can hear them coming. There is a door here. Nice. So let's see what else do we have here. I want to scout everything. Maybe I will die because of that. But, you know, it's me. And, yeah, it's important not to rush too much. Otherwise, you will die. At some areas, you might want to rush. At some, you don't. Oh, look at that. That's, that's crazy. So there is a dead lady. Um... From that, but we, we we can interact with it, but we can't really do anything. Look at that. That looks like an area where we will die as well, because when we step on this thing, it will squish us. Will it work like that? Yep. Other than that, you can try to find all the gnomes. I think we have one more left that will be further up the road. And maybe that chest will have something useful for us. We don't really know. Um, here at the barman, don't drink anything because it won't make you help too much. But, yeah, when you play the game, just enjoy the journey. I mean, your goal is to get out of this bar alive. But the process of getting out is so much more fun than actually dying there. There we go. Uh, when you press escape, you can get brighter option. Brightest. Normal, bright, brightest. And the brightest one will allow you to actually see what's happening. Yeah, you gotta be careful what you're doing. As you can see... Uh, with the brighter brightness, <laughs> we see way more things over here. Now I can play it with the actual light over there. And don't forget to experiment, to try to find new things, break stuff. Do it like you haven't done last time. Maybe you will unlock more things because this game have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of easter eggs. Like that guy says, help us. We, we kill him, we die. We, we did it already, so it's normal. The red lady, you keep chasing her. What's that? We got a new guy here. Nice. And he's always, always, always asking you some funny questions. So, it's fun to talk with him as well. And guys, since this game have so many secrets, so many hints, please, if you know something that we haven't mentioned in this video, let us know. So, other people might find it and use it as well for, you know, for the game progression, for fun. Because I know that spoiling isn't a nice thing, but... If those are easter eggs, those are not spoilers. It's really fun to unlock them by yourself and usually you got some small things here and there that, that makes it fun for you, but sometimes you just won't be able to find one. Like that dead lady, can we, can we get something from here? No, what if we shoot her? Nothing will happen. And when you hear the enemy is really close to you, oh my god, I tried to show you how to kite them, but sometimes it just doesn't work. So you gotta think about enemy location at all times. So yeah, guys, the last tip I can give you, enjoy the game, because this experience is about exploring, finding your own way of doing things. I haven't encountered any 
um, any areas which are really hard and unbeatable just by, you know, going through it again. So if you encounter some area where you're stuck, you can go again from the start to that area and probably something will change because I had it a few times. I was, I was thinking I'm stuck. Not really. So, so far, all good. If you will encounter any issues though, let us know in the comments so we can answer those questions as well. And yeah, uh, let us know what do you think about this video down below as well while you're going to the comment sections. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel and uh, follow me on TapTap, of course. Um, check the pinned comment in the video description for additional links. We have more guides over there. We have more first reviews and impressions of other games. We have... Um, link to this uh, link tree with the other youtube channels and discord and that kind of stuff and yeah thank you very much for watching guys that's about it for now stan kosh out have a good one bye